Hello and welcome to Minor Plays the third installment of my Tomb Raider 2 in Minecraft. This one is Bartley's Hideout, so I'll just play through and I'll just show you. Now it's obviously not exactly the same as before. Um, you can see, you know, the walls don't look exactly the same, but that's just due to me wanting to put a bit of detail in. I'm using KV Tours Slope Mod, uh, single player commands and too many items, as you can see there, to be able to make the building of this much easier. And I'm using John Smith's 32x32 32 32 texture pack to make the level look, look nice. And so we've come up this first bit, and you can see out there into the detonator hut section. So if we press that, I've got air uh, flying on and my speed is at two, just to make things a bit easier. And so you come into this room, here and so you'd come through here and yes there will be glass here I'll just sort that out in the download link which I will make available for you it will be probably a few hours just after this video goes up and in here will be a diamond sword diamond sword that you'll use because there'll be dogs coming down here normally but in this case it's villagers so there you go that's just a couple of them and then you come down here and you can see into a water section so let's press that lever and then you've got a little jumping puzzle here you need to be able to get up to that ladder there get through this block and then jump over here up the ladder and then here it says whenever you see a lever pull it for a checkpoint because you might try to jump across here, but you might fail it, so you don't want to have to keep coming up. So you get here, and yes, it looks a bit exposed, but if you pull that lever, that piston goes up and you'll be able to jump back. So you'll be able to get across there, and then here's a button, there you go, for those two things to come out, and once again, press that lever. Then we come through here, we've got an open door. If we look through here, you can see into the ballroom. And now if we go up here, we get into this room, where you can see that door is closed. And now it's open. And what do you find here? The first secret. So if we go through here, we smash through the glass, and you can see that this door here is closed. So let's go through the glass, and here we go, you've got the detonator hut. And yes, that is melon within the wall just because it's green really then we go over here and you go over this pressure plate which then opens this door but then we have to go through this fireplace by pushing a block so I've just done the alternative of having clay there and you go up here down the slope now doing I could have dispensers there but it there just wasn't really any space the other side to allow for redstone circuitry and here I had no idea what to do here at all and there isn't space either side really for any redstone circuitry so I thought I'll just leave it and you come here and you've got to step on this pressure plate to open that door and here we are in the ballroom so now in, what happens here is at one point you press a lever and this chandelier here goes down and this chandelier here goes up and you, but obviously I can't do that in Minecraft so I've developed a bit of a jumping puzzle and I've tried this out myself and it works so you'd have to come up here and you go over here and you can see just here it's closed that's where the library key is and now it's open and you need to be able to get this key so what do you do you come back up here you jump over here up here work your way around go over the various jumping puzzles now normally you would press a lever here to make the chandeliers change position but because I couldn't do that I've just put a chest here with three ladders and you will use these ladders to get up this part here and then you'll come over here which I will sort out uh, I, I will create something to allow you to get over here so don't wait and um, you pull that lever smash your way through the glass 
and that lever opened up this little section here so let's oops drop down into the water and to get through to this other section from here you can press this lever uh, work your way through now here you might be thinking what on earth is a minecart doing here well I thought instead of having to stay underwater for too long you I'll just create a minecart track so you go into minecart you press the button next to it well slightly above it and you go through this minecart track and then once you're at the end you get the other secret but then to get back up you need to break this two glass I'll put a sign up there to make it more obvious you break these two glass and you jump through and you can get up and because you you only lose like a couple of hearts by the time you get back up to the top but because you're playing on peaceful it won't be a problem you just get those hearts back so let's go back here you place your redstone torch there which I haven't actually got myself there you go and you come through here and you've got two doors to be able to get through first door you can but this one let's go up uh, let's just make things a bit brighter and there you go you can see into the final section there and you can see into the detonator hut section there so you've got a redstone torch in there which you use here and you go in and you've got a little puzzle to sort out here now you can break through this glass but you can't get through so you need to work out another way to getting through now there's a sort of puzzle here involving ladders and being able to get up to here so I'll let you figure out the ex exact parts to that and then you jump across here now over in there is a little secret which that ladder there needs to be used so I'll just look at this ramp without giving too much away so anyway we get into the detonator hut and we've got a lever which I'll just leave there I'll grab another one later and then you can walk back here get through and now you can get through this glass now this door doesn't actually have any keys to it you just pull a lever and it opens and you smash your way through the glass and you're in the final section open this door and there we go and you get up here and this is where you place your lever and I won't actually I won't do that I'll let you see the detonation yourself you can see a few TNT blocks through the iron gratings there but take these ladders because the the TNT blocks will just blow up most of the building and there isn't really a proper way to get up unless you have uh, unless I was to put obsidian blocks as a sort of you know you just jump up but I thought I'll leave a little bit of a puzzle and I'll just give you those ladders and you can work your way up and but when I say obsidian block you can see I've encased it here just so it doesn't destroy anything else but if I just show you the whole of the level that's all of it there if I just make the speed a bit faster let's say four oops there we go so there we go this is the whole of the level and it's taken me about 28 hours to build but if I just go underneath and show you the under part it's quite dark under here there's a lot of this is probably the best position but loads of redstone wiring there's small areas to do the redstone wiring with it and there's one place I'll just try and find where is it gosh where is it um, can't think of this area I, yeah I mean I'll just show you this one for example this is the door to the first secret and if you were to look here it's quite cramped and let's put the speed back down it's quite cramped and to be able to get this working it, will, it took a bit of thinking but I eventually got there so the link for the map will be in the description and also some other files 
for example, the Minecraft jar file that I used for Kevator's soap more too many items and single player commands will be in here as well. Also, I will sort out all those small little bits left like that jumping puzzle thingy here. And yeah, I I hope you'll download it and I hope you'll enjoy it. And I hope you'll be able to complete it. If there's any problems, just let me know and I will sort it out. I won't be doing a speed run of this because I I just won't. <laughs> and yeah, enjoy. Thank you very very much for watching. I don't know when I'll have Opera House out, so you'll just have to wait and see. Bye. Oh, there's a villager that's got out. <laughs> see you in the next part.